MATLAB, we can enter statements with conditions. The simplest type of conditional statement is the if n conditional statement. Let's go through this if n form by taking an example. Let's set a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 4. Now to type out our conditional statement, we will use the word if and follow this by our condition. Let's take our condition to be a must be greater than b. Remember that we input a as 9 and b as 4. Hence, in our case a was greater than b. After typing in the condition, complete the statement by typing in the next line, the program formula that would give you the desired output. In our case, this is c is equal to a times b. Recall that this is the if and structure, and we must always end our conditional statement in the following line with the word end. Notice that we obtain a value for C since the required condition was met, and the input value for A, which was 9, was greater than the input value for B, which was 4. If A was not greater than B, a value would not be generated for C. Let's confirm whether this is true through another example. Our input values will remain the same where a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 4. This time, we'll type in a slightly different condition. Type if a is less than b instead of if a is greater than b. We know that a is not less than b in our case since 9 is not less than 4. In the next line, complete the program by typing c is equal to a times b. Type out end in the next line to end the if end structure. Notice this time an output value for C is not obtained, since the condition did not hold true to our situation as A was not less than B. Other key ideas to keep in mind is that the words if and end appear blue on the screen, and there is an automatic indentation which makes the program easier to read.